Let's be our second side connected PS3 controller to your PC in 2022 and also 2023 in running the brand new Windows 11. So now let's jump into the video. Let's start with there's only three things you need. So first your controller and then the cable that came with the controller and then a computer. So after that, and now you can open up any browser you want and then you're just gonna type in fametech.subscribe.com and click on enter. And then it's gonna go to this page right here. So after that, you're gonna click on the PS3 controller to PC 2022 to 2023. So just uh, click on this and then you're gonna uh, get this button so click this link so just uh, click the link and then it's gonna go to this page right here so after that you can, and now you're gonna click on download and then you're gonna say it actually gonna say they're downloading now you're gonna connect your controller to your pc and after that you're gonna plug into your computer then after that it's gonna look something like this you're gonna see it's gonna start flushing uh, and look at this uh, just like this also finish now you can open it up it's gonna look something like this you're gonna tap on the ps3 controller then you're gonna tap on the first one, SPC driver, and then you're gonna tap on bin, and then you're gonna see SPC driver. So make sure you click on it, and then if you get this, just click on extract all, and then after that, you're gonna click on extract, and now you're gonna do the same thing. Now you're gonna tap on the PC controller, tap on the SPC server, and then tap on the bin, and then you're gonna see SPC driver, and click on it, and then this time it's actually gonna work. So now you're gonna click on yes, and then it's gonna look something like this. So after that, you can close all the, the stuff, uh, the only thing that matter is this so look at this in the bottom there's three options so there's the a uh, configure service and there's the bluetooth driver and also the force install so the only thing so the only two things that matter is the configure service so make sure it's on the this need to be checked and the next is the bluetooth driver so that means you can actually connect the ps3 controller via bluetooth as well so the only thing that is recommended is getting a Bluetooth adapter so you can find an Amazon. Then you can convert that to a Bluetooth driver. So with that you can connect the PS3 controller with no cable. So that's why it, so that's why if you need to do that, make sure you check on that. So 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 oh the I mean you can just go on Amazon, then type in a, a Bluetooth driver for PC, then you can get that. Just know it's uh, really cheap. So after that, and, and I'm gonna click on install. And then you're gonna see it's gonna start installing and then it's gonna say install summary. So after that, and so after that, uh, uh, now, uh, so now, so now you're gonna give it a few seconds. So if you just go right here, uh, look at this. So it's not connected. So now you're gonna tap on the force install. So make sure this also check. And now you're gonna click on install. Just like that, you're gonna see a control connected. So it's gonna be on player one. So. Look at this. So if you just uh, click the play button, look at this. It's gonna be connected. Look at this. Uh, 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 I'm moving and the controller is actually working. And then yeah, yeah, just like that, it's connected. So that's why make sure you have this installed. And then it's gonna say a bunch of this. So it's gonna say SPC. So it's gonna say install summary. SPC the bus driver, bus driver, and DS3 to USB driver. So the only thing I have to check is the config service and the, the force install. If you just open up the Steam and then it's start moving my controller. Look at this, it actually be connected and now you can just use this controller with any game that's supported. So the only thing that is it, it required is the a game to be compatible. So if the game is not compatible, obviously it's not going to work. So for example, the Eater Track is compatible, Rocket Leg is, uh, GTA is. So one thing that is uh, clear about Steam, th that it actually going to show if the controller is uh, compatible or not. It for this quick video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you need to much. Just so you can always answer for later.
If you want to see how to connect a PS4 controller, you can just click this bit right here. And see you next time. Peace out.